Hello guys, welcome again to my channel. This is Coach Angel Beck and we are gonna talk about my experience in Louis Vuitton store in Las Vegas. So as you know guys, we went um, last April. Now it's already um, September. <laughs> it's been a long time and I've been wanting to do some video experience about um, my purchase um in las las vegas louis vuitton itself but i'm just so busy and uh yeah i've been doing some unboxing videos this past days uh weeks um from secondhand luxury store but um i haven't done any videos itself that i've experienced from a louis vuitton store itself okay so last april we went to louis vuitton um in venetian hotel itself um, and I want to buy Speedy, either Speedy 30 or actually, I don't know that time yet. If I want Speedy 30 or Speedy 25, or if I want never full MM or GM. Okay. So either of those four. Okay. So, um, yeah, I posted some videos in TikTok about, um, kind of like my experience there a little bit, but not the exact. Okay. So we went to Las Vegas and as you know, uh, you know, I'm, I'm the, what I, what I've said before that the, the, I was taking video. Okay. Don't judge me. Okay. I know for a fact, I know you're going to say, okay, video is, video is really not allowed this, 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 but to be honest at that moment, I really don't know. And, um, and I took a video, a little clip from going in, um, to see the store and also, as I go in, I'm just gonna, I'm just like, like this. I'm not really focusing on a certain item or focusing on a person or whatever. Um, but, and also I was observing if somebody's taking videos or not. And then, yeah, I saw this group of girls, um, TikToking, dancing. So I assume it's okay. All right. But somebody's told me in, uh, uh, in, in TikTok commented that, yeah, it's not really allowed unless you are an influencer. If you're influencer, yeah, it's, that's another thing. And that's another, uh, story. And I sort of observed, cause I, I looked at those girls who did some TikTok and like, can, maybe like they're, they're teens or I don't think they are influencer. Let's just say like that. Okay. Um, but anyway, I don't know what's really the story behind it. And, uh. So anyway, so I was, you know, I said, oh, okay, they're, they're doing some TikTok at the back. And there are also some buyers there passing and uh, purchasing and looking for bags behind them while they're doing TikTok. So I was assuming that, you know, I mean, it's totally okay. And for me, I was just like, okay, just clip here, clip there. I mean, I'm not, you know, because I'm thinking, okay, maybe a friend of mine want to buy and, and see what they have. And, and then... um kind of like a few feet back, um, like a sales associate. No, nobody came to us and talked to us. Hey, ma'am, uh, what can we do for you? Or stuff like that. Nobody. And a uh, few feet back associate talked to us. Uh, not really talked, but says like, hey, ma'am, uh, videos, photos are not allowed. I mean, kind of like in a loud voice. And when I look back, I was like surprised, but I said, oh, I'm so sorry. I just said like that. I even smiled, so I just turned off the phone, okay? Um, but when I turned around, I saw three people, two female and one guy, just staring and looking at me like weirdo, like that. But I ignored that because I'm really focusing on looking around, what I see, like I prefer to buy, maybe I changed my mind compared to Speedy or Neverfull. So I was kept looking around. I don't care. I mean, obviously my husband got irritated with that because the associate can, can just came to us and t told us at that moment says, ma'am, I'm sorry, but the video are not allowed. But instead raised the voice from few feet apart. And you know, um, you could have just came to us, you know, I mean, we're not child, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, but anyway, so we just continued looking around. I mean, I just ignored it because I'm I want to experience really buying from this from the place. It's no big deal. Okay, so anyway, later on, um, an Asian uh, associate came to us. Actually, she let um, I have her name. Uh, I mean, she was nice. I mean, her name is Jing Jing. Um, but she came to us and um 
told um she, hey mom what can i do for you and she's anything that's that that you want and uh this and that so um i, I just immediately said like do you have a speedy 30 um do you have a speedy and or never full never full she said yeah yeah come so i don't know if she came to us um uh, because she's she's supposed to be assigned to us or um the other associate that called our attention at the back told her to tell or to ask me you know because none of those three people at the back who who you know raised their voice came to me and asked if i need something instead they sent another person um but anyway whatever so anyway, so the the girl the girl um I went with her, so she showed me you know speedy speedy and never full, um at first she showed me speedy and she asked me what I want twenty five or thirty to be honest I told her I don't know, and uh, if I can see both, and if I can see also never full and and she showed me also the M M N G M of never full, and she was so sweet and um I told her what I want and um advised me some stuffs and i even asked her that moment i said can i take a video now or picture because i want to see how i look in the mirror and she said yeah 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 so you know she didn't tell me any more information about about the incident happened a while ago but she just said yeah it's okay so i took a video even you know but anyway so at that at that time i don't know what i want um, i'm confused with either never full or speedy but my husband advised me that you just go ahead buy two, okay? Because you want both, and both have a different purpose anyway. So I bought two. I chose the Speedy Thirty, and uh, so this is the Speedy Thirty, okay? Um, and Never Full MM, okay? Um, anyway, so because I really don't know what I want, and so I bought. So anyway, as soon as we as soon as I bought that, um, of course, she offered immediately a drink, uh, uh, a water or a sparkle. Um, then she was nice. And I mean, she was nice all along when she was asking if I need something. But the more they got nicer when I bought some, okay? And then, and then we left, okay? And then she gave me her card and she even tried to sell me the big wallet. But I'm not interested in their wallet at, at that area because, anyway. Um... Uh, I like big, big wallets. Anyway, so another thing is, good thing also I bought the Neverfull as well because Neverfull was, is, is discontinued later, a few months later. It means like you can only buy Neverfull if you are going, if you're going to go and in line to order. It's just order. You cannot go already in the store to... Um, just to buy random and you know what happened i was expecting when i'm going there i'm gonna see stack bags like puff you know on the um the drawer and like you know you'll see oh i want that i want that no to be honest the 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 speedy and even the neverfull was flat like really flat like this like flat and <laughs> and it's totally flat and fold like this and it was on, on top of each other on the cabinets. And I was like, oh, huh. I was surprised because I was expecting it to be much more puffed out and displayed on the store. But actually, it's not. So I'm going to show to you um, the Neverfull and the Speedy that I bought. Okay. So basically, it's just like an unboxing. But anyway, this is the actual um, paper bag and the box that I got from Louis Vuitton. And they even have the receipt here. So they didn't give me separate receipt. They have gave me the receipt from the two purchase. Okay. This one. So to be uh, to to tell you the price for the the speedy thirty bundle year. It's oh, sorry bundle year. Already it's our one thousand eight hundred ninety. Whereas in Neverfull MM it's two thousand thirty. Okay, two thousand thirty. So a total price. Uh, 3920 plus tax 328 so a total of 4248 that's what i purchased or paid at louis vuitton store in las vegas so again it depends where you order the tax varies and the price varies and you know as you know if you order outside united states like for, for example probably if you're in europe 
another country, um, the prices is way cheaper as what they say, okay? So if you're in Europe, we prefer, prefer for you to purchase your stuffs, high-end bags abroad compared in United States. But um, just be careful on how much you you bring in because they will when you get in in the United States they will if especially if you're carrying the paper bag like this they will ask for receipt because they're gonna uh, charge you with tax okay so my client said every time she comes home she removed the paper bag she folds it even the box and then just carry the bag and you know it's just like a hand carry because they will not charge you with that anyway so back to um my purchase okay so since i purchased i've been using the speedy 30 because for me this is much more ideal in any outfit going out um going out casual or even shopping you know and also of course this is included um anyway guys so let me open the box for you now since i purchased since april i never touched the back box i never opened it okay so i in short i never used the never full okay and uh, part of me kind of regret i should have got the different style of never full to be honest and different color but um it's okay and it's too late now because it's not <laughs> i cannot return it anymore and then the fact that it's discontinued it means i can resell it later on in much higher price because the demand now is so high a lot are looking for um never full right now and because it's just become iconic and a lot are buying it okay so let me show it to you guys okay so this is the box that i got from the speedy 30 so of course she wrapped you know, as you see the video, she wrapped it nice, stuff like that. Okay. And again, some people are selling this box on eBay. And even the paper bag on eBay for a higher price price. And so if you know, if you if you have a lot of boxes and don't throw it, just sell it. Okay. So this is the magnetic. Of course, with the paper bag. Okay. This is the latest, uh, sorry, the dust bag. This is the latest dust bag in Louis Vuitton. Okay. And this is another extension of the extension of this. Okay. So if you want this longer, if you want this longer, you can extend it here. Okay. So to be honest, this is the proof that I haven't touched this because the, the, the color of this and this is different now. See, this is much wider and the patina on this got faded already because that's the proof that um, the bag is used because the patina, you know, it's, it's, the, it's natural, okay? And it's not gonna reduce the bag's... Um, amount uh, or if you want to resell it that's just normal okay um anyway you can fix that to be honest but a lot of bag owners of louis vuitton prefer to to uh kind of like a little darker patina um because they like more the color that way rather than this kind of like a little white all right but, you know, either way, I like it. So, anyway. Oops. So, again, guys, that's the Pachetta leather. And, again, Pachetta leather is sensitive. But, like, if you accidentally spill a water in it, it's going to discolor. Let me show to you because there's some part of, of the one that I'm using got a little discolor but um i don't know if you can see it see this one yeah you know like a sprinkle of water so that's why if you buy uh louis vuitton just be careful and especially the handle on this 
that's why I have a cover so it doesn't discolor and you know the moist in her hand the oil and it will discolor uh, the Vashada leather um, it's not treated that's why it discolored but in others in other like they have a black strap Vashada that's a treated like the Damir, you know the, the 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 checkered color one, not the monogram, the checkered. It's this the black one. It's it's colored because it's not sensitive and it's treated leather, so it's not as sensitive. That's why a lot using that the the mirror the 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 black strap itself nowadays because they're not worried about they're not gonna get worried about discoloration of the strap. And also winter and fall is coming, so more on moisture and rain or. You know, so uh, during the fall and season and um, winter, they prefer the black one. This is for summer. That's what they say. Okay. Anyway. So now let's go to the other one that I purchased. That, uh, the never fall. I'm going to bring it back there. So this is the never full the box again i haven't opened it since i bought it okay yeah <laughs> still fresh and brand new Now, this is how they piled it up on the drawer when I when I purchased it. This is how they fold it and piled it, <laughs> stacked it up. So I was like surprised and shocked. Like, uh, are they not going to worry that it's going to get wrinkled? But, yeah. So anyway, this is the Neverfull. Yes, this with the with the red color inside. And with this one pochette i guess yeah so if you just want to go out and just like like a pouch others others just want to buy this to be honest so if you want to if you want to buy this or sell it you can separate sell it se sell this separately and this one even the box so you get more money okay so yeah so the latest Louis Vuitton now they don't have the car they don't have whatever because they are more on now um you scan you scan the bag so yeah so the bags now latest bags now Louis Vuitton are microchip so you just scan it through your phone so to be honest I haven't done it or tried it but yeah I'm kind of curious how to do it but this one fell off though so there's some some barcode there but guess that's just the direct website of Louis Vuitton um yeah and um to be honest I don't know when I will wear this so because I think you know if you go for grocery and it's more on going out uh with if you if you want to stack a lot of stuffs yeah and it's quick pick up stuffs that's it but me my lifestyle is not like that so i that's why i usually more on using the the speedy 30 speedy 30 and compared to never full so yeah to be honest um i saw some post in tiktok saying that um some are the technique of the sales associate in luxury brands uh they do that in purpose to intimidate you to buy and to challenge you like if you can buy um i was not intimidated to be honest um i'm more on like i was not also insulted but i'm more on like um you know sometimes that that tricks doesn't work for others because some others prefer a company that employees that are very friendly and nice and you know much more compassion in terms of uh, towards another person but anyway, so I'm just sharing to you guys my experience on, on my purchase in, in Louis Vuitton itself. Um, if, if you ask me if I purchase again and go to the store, of course I will, you know. That's the rules. That's the rules, you know. So I, I'll, I'll respect that, okay. That's their 
thing, but whatever, you know, it's no big deal. But, um, yeah, so my, my thing also is I realize now that since I bought some high-end brands in a uh, second-hand store, luxury stores, I think I prefer to buy second-hand because if you, the resale value of the bags go either go down or go up. So maybe if um if I want to buy brand new from a high-end brands uh regardless what brand it is um maybe certain iconic that I really want to get, okay? That I'm not planning to resell soon like this one, you know, I'm I'm happy with it that I bought brand new. But other style, you know, sometimes you can get more cheaper price but still pristine condition online like you can get it in ebay or other online website that prestigious that you're sure that it's it's brand new still like like new no damage no no discoloration like a pristine condition in a cheaper price and then when you resell it you can resell it in the same price that you bought it or higher okay so again guys just be wise on on spending money with luxury brands okay that's just based on my experience but again you know i'm i'm not upset with the company i mean who am i to be upset and you know i'm not i'm nobody but i'm just sharing to you my experience because lots are asking how my experience in louis vuitton store but you know i'm just sharing it's no big deal but again guys i'm i'm again i'm buying again with them probably online this time because in with the place where I live right now, they don't we don't have Louis Vuitton store here. I need to drive further for a Louis Vuitton store. So online would be much better for me and maybe lesser tax if so. Okay? But anyway guys, so um yeah I'm I think I'm gonna get uh I'm not gonna do a review next time with this one. Um and with this one too. But I don't I don't know yet um when would that be okay but i'm surely gonna make a review and a video about speedy 30 in different speedy 30 because i have like three uh, i have three speedy 30 already here mary kami speedy 30 bundle year um monogram and speedy 30 epi leather so i'm gonna have a review for three of those but I don't know yet. I'm going to um I'm going to upload soon, okay? But anyway, guys, thanks for watching and listening to me about my experience in the Vuitton store. Anyway, I hope that you know um hear me out, please. Don't be, don't be mad at me. That's just my experience and how I think about it. But again, no big deal. So anyway, guys, that's my experience. So thank you for watching and listening. Yeah, have a good day and God bless.